Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about very interesting bike from Giant and it's the Giant Defy Advanced Zero for the 2022 season. And the really interesting thing here is that um, if you are in Europe, let's say on the UK market, the retail price of this bike is 2,900 British pounds, but when you look at it uh, on the US market, the retail price is 4,350 US dollars. This is all at the, you know, the current moment I'm recording this. So it's very interesting that it's so expensive in USA and I would say so cheap in UK Europe. So what I would suggest you here, you definitely gotta check with your local uh, US giant bike dealer. Why is this bike 4,350 US dollars in USA? And you should give them uh, an example that in Europe you can buy it for 2,900 British pounds. They definitely need to adjust the pricing because, you know, like for like, if it's 2,900 British pounds, it should be approximately, let's say, 3,600 US dollars. And that's the price they should offer you for this bike. So, uh, without speaking any more about the retail price of this bike, Let's talk about uh, all the, you know, specifications and components you are going to get about this bike. And then at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion. Should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider this bike? So first thing first, we got to answer the question, who is this bike for? So you see, Giant Defy platform is an absolute legend when it comes to endurance road bikes. So relaxed geometry and long days in the saddle. If you are in the market for this type of the bike, you definitely have to check this Giant Defy Advanced Zero bike. When it comes to the paint scheme, uh, what are you getting? So there's only one paint scheme on offer, but luckily it's a beautiful, very classical, you know, uh, black with a hint of uh, red paint scheme. So very nice and decent. And uh, okay, considering the retail price of this bike of 2,900 pounds, I kind of understand why Giant is only offering one paint scheme, so there's no choice. It would be nice if you could get another paint scheme, but it is what it is. Now let's talk about uh, some of the specifications of the bike and let's really see what do you get for your hard earned money. And we can kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is the advanced grade carbon fiber frame from Giant. And also the fork is the advanced grade carbon fiber fork with the full uh, carbon fiber steer. Uh, both frame and the fork uh, have internal cable routing, 12 millimeter through axles front and the back. And this um, carbon fiber frame is with the press fit uh, bottom bracket. And this is going to be the SRAM standard, you will see just because of the group set on the bike. Also keep in mind that the giant carbon fiber frames and forks are absolutely top notch, excellent quality and also you are getting a lifetime warranty, so definitely no problems here. When you look at some of the smaller pieces on the bike like handlebar and the stem, what do you get? You are getting an aluminium giant contact SLD fuse handlebar and also aluminium giant contact stem perfectly fine that these parts are aluminium, no complaints here. And also uh, what I like uh, to mention always is that since these parts are separate, uh, there are no, uh, there's no proprietary parts here. It's very easy to replace and upgrade in the future. And also if you need to adjust your position on the bike, like nicely and precisely, it's very easy because again, these are handlebar and stem separate pieces. Seat post, uh, excellent giant defuse carbon fiber seat post you will get. It's gonna soak up so much of the road bumps, but just keep in mind for the future, defuse, it's kind of a D-shaped carbon fiber seat post. So in the future, if you are you know, replacing or upgrading, you'll just have to buy any kind of D-shaped uh, carbon fiber seat post. Of course, you can even buy it from Giant. Saddle is the very basic, you know, Giant approach saddle. Uh, Giant recently makes some very good saddles, but uh, in case you don't like this saddle, it's very easy to replace and put your own, you know, desired saddle on this bike. Now let's talk about uh, one of the secret sauces of this bike and definitely the highlights, and this is the group set. So uh, shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything is a SRAM rival ETEP wireless group set. So this is a 12 speed wireless group set. So shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything is communicating wirelessly and you have a battery inside the frame. Absolutely superb wireless group set, no problems here. So this is the 
entry point of you know SRAM wireless group sets but make no mistake it's gonna work perfectly fine also I have to mention here that the uh, braking system on the bike is the SRAM rival hydraulic disc brakes uh, here they have kind of mixed it a little bit with the giant MPH braking rotors I have no clue about these rotors and also uh, one negative thing here I have to mention is that okay at the front they are using 160 millimeter rotors excellent good heat dissipation but then in the back I don't know why giant is using 140 millimeter rotors I would immediately replace it and put you know 160 millimeter rotors just because the heat dissipation is going to be so much more better with these braking rotors of course you can you know stick with the giants uh, own braking rotors or maybe you can use SRAM rotors or you can you know even use a Shimano rotors technically it doesn't matter too much also I gotta mention here that uh, when we talk about the cassette and the chain you are getting a SRAM rival 12 speed cassette this is 1036 cassette a chain is the SRAM rival D1 chain so very nice no cutting corners and also the cassette is the SRAM rival D1 cass uh, sorry crankset is the SRAM rival D1 crankset and this is a 30, uh, 3346 crankset so as you see the combination of 1036 cassette and also 3346 uh, crankset absolutely huge range of gears and this is what you want when you have this endurance road bike I have to mention here with the cassette uh, once when you destroy this cassette and the chain I would definitely advise you to stick with SRAM products so you can you know use SRAM rival cassette or SRAM rival chain or any other you know SRAM rival uh, products but just keep in mind that this SRAM rival cassette this XG1250 cassette is usually very expensive to replace so this is a retail price of 132 euros or you know easily 130 US dollars so just keep that in mind once when you need to uh, replace this cassette also I gotta mention here as I said uh, bottom bracket on the bike is a SRAM dub press fit bottom bracket okay some people are uh, you know complaining that there might be a little bit more creaking noises than with Shimano but it is what it is you gotta use the SRAM dub uh, press fit bottom bracket just because of the compatibility with the crankset now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike which is you know a weak point of this bike they had to save money somewhere so this is the wheel set so this wheel set is the giant's own PR2 disc wheel set aluminium wheel set with uh, 22 millimeters in the rim width uh, I'm expecting maybe 20 to 30 millimeters rim height probably with some basic uh, giant uh, hubs with seal cartridge bearings I'm hoping and this wheel set will probably have be in total I would say around 2000 grams in weight so again very simple uh, aluminium wheel set uh, once when you destroy this wheel set I strongly recommend you to save a bit of money and have a look what DT Swiss is offering in their aluminium wheels or for example you know you can have a look at zip wheels or any other there's so many good wheels now in the market so definitely a little bit weak point on this bike are the wheels but as I said they had to save money somewhere to give you this uh, full wireless electronic group set uh, tires on this uh, wheel set are uh, giant Gavia Fondo 1 that's a tubeless tire and uh, giant is excellent because they give you immediately you know uh, tires and wheels are prepared tubeless ready so including the sealant and uh, the valves everything is excellent this tire is 32 millimeters 32 C tire although they say that the effective width is 33.5 millimeters so excellent tires a uh, lot of air volume and a really smooth ride even in the future I would suggest you to always use you know 32 millimeter or even 35 millimeter tires because they can fit into this frame and the fork because you will always get a good air volume and a smooth smooth ride uh, also keep in mind that you can use you know continental tires michelin tires schwalbe tires goodyear there's so many good tire brands out there they didn't mention the total uh, bike weight here but i would expect it is some kind of size medium large to be easily you know 8.5 kilograms because again the point of this bike is not to be light and stiff it's an endurance relaxed geometry bike so 8.5 kilograms is perfectly fine 
So, in a summary, what would I advise you to do? Uh, first thing I would advise you to do if you are in the US market, you gotta talk with your local giant dealer and you gotta mention them that in Europe you can buy this bike for 2,900 British pounds, therefore the price in US should be, you know, 3,500, 3,600 US dollars and not this retail price of 4,350. I mean, I don't know if this is some kind of mistake on the giant's website, but this should be corrected if it is a mistake. So that's the first thing. And then if the retail price is, as I say, 3,500 US dollars, and this 2,900 British pounds, I would definitely advise you to go ahead and buy this bike. It's an excellent offering from Giant, and for this price of 2,900 British pounds, you are immediately getting a full electronic wireless group set. And of course, as I mentioned, the weak point are the wheels, but that's perfectly fine. You can easily upgrade them later down the road. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. And if you do, keep on watching, keep on liking. As always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!